Hey Soul Family, it's Latanya with Saji Soul. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys, thank you so much for staying subscribed. I'm back. Been going through a lot. Um, had a spiritual awakening for the past six months. And what can I say? For a lot of you who are going through it or who have gone through it or who will go through it, uh, it's eye opening scary, rough, maybe a little ugly, but it's the truth. Be careful what you ask for, what you request, what you call on, because when it gets delivered, it may be time for you to step into it, time for you to acknowledge it. I did fire and air. I'm doing elements just to ease back into things. Um, for a lot of you who are going to have your spiritual awakenings and go through things, I'm going to have my number listed. Yes. I know what it is to need someone. Your family and friends are not going to understand. If you read the book of Enoch, Think about that. Who could Enoch really tell about that? On that big of a level. I'm not saying my level is that grand, but you're going to need someone. I'll have my number down below. And I'm not going to be charging. It'll only be by donations. So that way, when you think you're losing it, you think you're over the edge, I'm going to be your reinsurance. And when it comes, you're going to have to step into it, whatever it is. Because if not, it's going to find you. It's going to keep coming back to you. Those karmic lessons, you're going to have to keep repeating until you step into what you need to do. It's time to raise the vibration of the earth. And when you're called on, well, you'll know. Anywho, Right now I'm guided to do oracles. I may bring tarot back in every now and then, if I'm permitted to. Right now, Source wants me, the heavens wants me to focus on oracles right now. I do have a new deck. The Archeo? I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. The Archeo. I think it's the Archeo. I gotta, I, I re-pronounce it different every time by Nick Van Talk. Your KO. Whatever. Anywho. Hope you guys are doing well. I've missed you. I'm back. I'm going to at least try and do weekly elements. Talk about spiritual things. The more permission that I have to talk to you about and real, reveal things, those are the things that we will discuss. Anywho. Let's get into it. So I already did fire signs, air signs. I'm on water now. I'm just going to shuffle the deck. Let's see how many cards we get. Ooh, we got two. I think I can use these. We have the Shadow Diver. And metaphor, metaphor, metamorph. Hello. Let's do um, the shadow diver first. Let's do the shadow diver first. Shadow diver. Attribute. The shadow diver spirals down through the 
through the tunnels of your history, discovering your deserted specters of discontent and trauma. Once located, he brings them back to the surface where they can be resolved. Unearth these buried scars, forsaking longings, and damaged dreams can attend to mend it and uh, and damaged dreams can be attended to, mended, and laid to rest. Persona. Somewhere between childhood and adulthood, there are stories that have the stories that having tumbled down a forgotten rabbit hole remain buried, squeezed, small, and still angry. The shadow diver is a slinky is a slinky, a hunter therapist with a nose for those bitter peels, those traumas that cling limper like to the walls of your psyche. He is a miner and an archaeologist whose agenda is to retrieve and bring it hard enough to face threats like isolation, sickness, or the malice of others. But it is harder to deal with an internal foreboding that can't be articulated. We cannot overcome fears that remain hidden, and in order to break free from their cold grip, they must first be named and acknowledged. If we do not, we will never have free choice and we will never and we and we will be forever triggered into inappropriate action by their rancor. So this is as a look, right? But this is almost like spiraling out of control. When we don't deal with those childhood issues, when we don't deal with the traumas, when we don't deal with things that happen to us as children, teenagers, young adults. And then we encounter those people that reflect back to us those issues. Or we trauma bond with others who have the same issues that we had growing up. And we think it's okay because they're just like me, but... They're meant to make you work on those karmic lessons, right? That's why you meet those people. It's a test. Do you trauma bond with them? Do you get high with them? Do you engage in escapades with them? Or do you say, no, I have to deal with this issue. I'm not going to let this overtake me. I'm not going to let this addiction, this alcohol, this drug, whatever this is that pulls me in, Because it's a test. And if you fail the test, you keep repeating it. You keep repeating it. Addictions, you go to the same places with the same people. You keep meeting the same people. You keep allowing the same people in your life. That's a test. You have to change your location, you have to change your job, you have to change your relationships, you have to change your friendships, you have to change your family. Whatever it is that pulls you out. Because if not, this is the spiral. Where your truth is buried deep below in the basement. And when you meet that person that connects with you, that likes to do those things with you, that's when you'll start to spiral out of control again, and you'll repeat the karmic lesson again and again and again. For some of you, you may have a spiritual awakening where it's a life or death situation, and you have a choice to make. Some of you, the divine, may give you a choice. And if you ignore it, you pull the curtain back, you act like you didn't see it, you spiral out of control. It's time to step into your power, who you are, who you were meant to be. And you can't run from yourself. You can't run from what you like, who you like, what you like. That's where those addictions lie, because it scars, things that you're hiding, things that you're pushing down below, but everything has to come to the surface. That's why you keep repeating the cycle. It's a test. 
Everything is a test. Anyway, Metamorph. I have to read it out the book. Metamorph. Attribute. The metamorph will aid you in all your life's transitions from child to adult, from midlife to maturity, and eventually on to your ultimate rite of passage. Inevitably, there will be times when you need to let go of one set of patterns and take on others. Um, be it home, work, friends, or lovers, change is inevitable. The metamorph will assist you your leap into the unknown. Persona. He is the master of all rites of passage. The oil between the, the cogs, smoothing the wheels, turning, and the cement between the bricks, holding the structure firm. Let him direct you when you are unsure. Allow him to take your hand and show you which stepping stone you might next trust to, su to support your weight. Oh wow, this is deep. The wolf may well be skilled at leading you through the complicated and confusing trails ahead of you, but the metaphor is the one you will need to overcome the fear and anxieties that freeze your will. He is the griffin, griffin with the feline limbs and the eagle's wings who will propel you across the gaping chasism to your next landing. Okay. And at the end of your road, He's the kindly concierge who will open the gates of the cover. That garden sanctuary where you can leave behind the burden of your possessions and step into the infinite spaces between the stars. Metamorph. Ooh. Water signs. This is probably hard for you. Maybe some. Going with the flow. That's a deep card, though, don't you think? Complicated and confusing trails ahead of you. I'm on water signs, right? But you guys usually flow with things. Just keep flowing. Don't stop. And for those of you who are going to have your spiritual awakening, never alone. Even though you feel alone, nobody's going to understand. I compared a little bit, bit to the book of Enoch, but not many of us are going to have it on that magnitude, right? But what you're meant to see, you'll see. What you're meant to feel, you'll feel. What you're meant to hear, you'll hear. And others will not. That's where you have to morph into. Being a part of this 3D world and then a part of the spiritual world. Understanding that there are things greater than us on a human scale. We're just part of the, part of the plan. A small part of the plan. But each one of us, if you're called on, have a task to do. Some big, some small, some lifetime, some for a season, some for a moment. Being able to metamorph into whatever you need to be to make it. And as the earth goes through its movement and the vibrations start to raise, Those of you who call, you'll have to raise with those vibrations. And it's going to be hard. It's not easy. Because no one's going to understand what you're going through but you. And you're going to think you're crazy, but you're not. So, I'm going to be here for you guys. Reading books for you. Doing oracles for you. Gonna have my number down below for those of you who are gonna experience certain things. I'm not gonna be charging. It's only gonna be by donations, equal exchange of energy. That's gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be a good thing. 
Anywho, let's pull some crystals. Okay, so for um, fire and air, I got the same two cards. Oh, this one came right out. Oh my goodness, Rhonda Chrysite. Acceptance, how beautiful is that? How beautiful is that I can pronounce that? Rhonda Chrysite, I hope that's right. If not, you guys can just email me and tell me uh, I mispronounced that, it's okay. You guys, hold on. I need to light my Palo Santo. Guys, bear with me for a moment. Okay. Rodand, Ro Rodan Chris. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's beautiful, isn't it? No, I don't know this crystal, so I'll have to read it for you. Rodan Chrysite. The heart. The medicine of Rodan Chrysite teaches you to accept all aspect all aspects of yourself and to learn to embrace yourself in all of your reality. Uh, to love yourself deeply right here and now for all your traits, negative and positive. Exactly. Exactly. That's the human experience. Your positive trait, your negative traits, the things that make you weird and quirky. Not feeling weird about those things. Understanding this is the human experience. You're supposed to experience it. The good, the bad, the ugly, right? Anyway, let's keep going. Redonda site is the same family as Macalonite, but is pink in color. Macalonite is a powerful healing crystal on all levels, and so is its sister, Redonda site. It holds the healing energy of compassion. Of the pink ray and offers medicine to all who crosses its path. So anyway, you guys, I'm reading from... The Healing Oracle Crystal Reading Cards. So this is what you guys receive. Acceptance. Acceptance of yourself, your flaws, your positive, your negatives, who you are. I mean, that's what makes you special. That's what makes someone, when they really get you, they're going to love you for who you are. Not what you can do, not what you can give. Who you really are, the authentic you. I don't have on my red lipstick. But heaven said it is out. <laughs> so for those of you who are wondering, I don't really miss it. But I'm here for you guys. That's your reading. I'm going to be doing the elements weekly. My number will be below for those of you who need me. There's no charge, just donations if you feel the need to. I think that's it, you guys. Have a good week. Water signs, much love. Thank you so much for staying subscribed. Thank you for joining. Saggy soul. Until next week, much love, you guys. From one soul to another soul, I love you guys. Have a good week.